Hello, everyone. You're welcome to another SQL session. So this session would be reflecting on two key concepts, very simple concepts, but very important as they usually pop up in many SQL interviews. All right. So you need to understand them. This is, um, let me see. Uh, okay. We are versus having all right now to understand this concept the prerequisite is that you have understood aggregations and that you have understood group by the group by clause okay if you understand aggregations and group by then this is more like a giveaway okay so when we say where and having i would start by talking about their similarities okay so i would say similarity because it's just one they are both used both are used to apply filter okay to apply filter to a table based on certain conditions all right so if they are this similar, and this is this similarity is everything about them, because that is all we need we have for to filter a table to, based on certain conditions, right? So if you are saying, or if we are saying that this is what this is the similarity, so that means if we does this, having does that, that means we could use them interchangeably, right? Now, it's to an extent it sounds true, but it isn't. That is what will lead us to their difference. Now, difference here is that where is used before group by. That's like the simplest I can bring up now. All right. While um, having is used after after group by group by clause okay so we are used before the group by clause all right and after um, having is used after the group by clause okay so this is their major difference and this is what makes each of them unique in their ways now let's step into some bit of explanation here in practical terms uh let's look at sql uh, let's check out our table orders table right select all from orders let's look at it this is this is the content of our table right these are the records all right now let us do some bit of filtering and let's say that we want to filter based on the condition so I would say select all, select all from, um, oh, okay, I'm, I want to filter, right? I want to select all from orders, okay, based on the condition. So I'll say where, let, let me say I want to select um, item category, lowercase, item category, and let's say price. All right, so I want to select these two items. Okay, I select this where the price, okay, where the price is greater than let's say twenty thousand. This is what we have. So we have select item. So we have it filtered, right? So let's let's see what having is going to do. Since both of them filter, so when we do this, we will have an error, and in the error statement, is calling out the group by clause. It must appear in the group by clause. In short, what it's expecting is that for you to apply having in your query, then there should be a group by clause in that query. All right. So having does not work when group by has not been mentioned. And it, so it doesn't happen before group by. It happens after group by. So when you are not grouping your items to bring out a summary of the table, remember what we talked about 
in um, when we talked about group by group by generates a summary of dimensioned columns so if we use if we are not doing that then we stick to where all right because we're just it's just like comparing the sum function with your addition operand okay so where works based on the individual rows or the individual records in that table why group why having works on the collective value presented by the group by or the collective result okay so let's let's deep further and let's see what we can do uh okay so let's try having let's see when having becomes effective so let's assume that we have um select all from um from others and group by group by are we grouping by let's say we are grouping by item category item category okay and we are saying we are okay okay let's do we are we are price is greater than twenty thousand now this is giving us an issue but first of all the issue is talking about is indicating we are although even though this has this is going to be corrected to having uh it's still going to give us an issue and that issue we've discussed it initially but let's just correct this since we are not trying to focus on group by what, whatever you are grouping by should be in the select um statements okay and whatever is in the select statement should be either in the group by or should be appeared as an aggregation but let's not go there because we've discussed all these rules in the group by session all right so let's do some of um let's say some of price all right it should still give us an error because we've not changed this to having so we are saying having this okay what's the error here okay now the error here is it shouldn't be price right because price is not is not part of this entirety it price is not part of this so it does not recognize price so what is here instead is sum of price okay because it works with the rules that governs the group by so when i do sum of price it gives me the results so what is telling me now is having is used after this has happened after the group by has happened look at what is going to happen here so this is the result of the group by without the having all right so this is the result of the group by without the having so when i'm putting the having having is saying okay now that we've gotten a result from the group by, let us filter this result. That is what having does. Having filters the results of group by. Okay? We directly filters the table before it is being grouped. But having filters the result of group by. That is why when you mention price, it doesn't recognize it because there's nothing about price, just price, in this particular result instead it is sum of price all right so that's what it does so let's assume that this is just price okay it is not sum. and if this is price that means we are going to have um price here in the group by clause and let's just see that before we put our having so when we run this we have this which is not very sensible enough because like we said when aggregation is not introduced for a group by it, it doesn't make logical sense enough logical sense so but however i want to explain something here so if i use having okay and i say price is greater than twenty thousand, it should work because in this case in this case we have having we have group by already accommodating the price column okay and we have th this is in short in this case this is the result this is the result of this is the result of group by all right this is the result of group by in this case so you are not telling having all right now based on this result look at this result and filter it by this price column having anything greater than 20,000. 
and it happens. So you could see that because we don't have any aggregation in this. It doesn't really make any sense for a group by to appear here because whatever you can achieve here, you could achieve it without applying all those long statements in group by. So group by does not come to just give you, to just generate the table again and apply effect on individual columns, no. Group by doesn't do that. So what group by does is to run calculations on those columns, group them and run calculations, then present the results. Okay, so you need to understand how to use group by. And that has been fully explained in the previous session. Now, let us continue. So what we are saying here is if we do sum, this is a better usage of group by. So if we do sum, then I will just remove this price and I will do sum here. give me a result so that means it has given me the results of grouping the items then i'm now using filter and having as a filter to reduce or to filter that particular results okay so it's filtering the results it's filtering the effect after group by has made its calculation then we use having to filter the effects of the or, or to filter the results that group by produced, all right? So there are certain, certain applications that it could be in the result of where and the result of having could be the same. Let's, let's see if we can try one. So now I would do my SQL magic and let me see, select, let's, let's assume we are selecting um, the, so we are selecting uh okay uh, let's say item category all right item category and let's talk about the sum the price the sum of the prices right and then from others okay this is Select item category, sum of price from, oh, sorry, we did an aggregation here. Okay, so sum of price from others. So we have to do um, group by, we have to do group by, group by item category. All right, so when we do this, we discover that, okay, we have this, right? So now I want to bring out um, I just want it to give me furniture and electronics. So I would use my group by the way I will use. Let me just go to the next line because of space. So I would say having, okay, just the way I, I apply my rear clause. So I'll just say having because this is after group by. So I'll say having um, item category, okay, having item category in, I want, I want to um two columns or two um i categories to be featured here so i could say in furniture and let's say electronics electronics all right so i could even go further to add another condition i could say something like and and some Let's, let's not go there because the table is small, so it might the future might be too much. All right, so now when I run this, I have electronics and I have furniture. 454,527, 200 and is this? Okay, 27,000, all right, for furniture. Look at this now and let us try to see what we can do if we're using a wear clause. So I'll keep this visible. And so I will just go to select the same thing, item category, item category, and um, I would say sum, yeah, sum of price. Let's see what's going to happen from others, okay? And I will say group by, say group by item category, okay? So you are still wondering where the where is coming from. So we are not placing the where after the group by. Okay. So we'll place the where before the group by. 
all right so i'll put the where before the group by and i'm saying where i'll say where um item category right i'll say where item category in this place here in let me just put this other line where item category in furniture and um we said electronics electronics okay so when we run this you can see that we are having the same results the same results just a matter of arrangements but the same result so there are certain situations where the wear clause and the having clause would give the same results so it's not really about the function but it's about the positioning based on what you want to do so in this case here the categories here are not exactly the um are not exactly the something that came after as a result of the group by it exists in the usual in the normal table all right item category but if i wanted to use this in my wear clause which is the sum price it will give me an error because the wear clause does not operate based on an aggregation all right i think that is another difference i need to put so the wear clause that should be like a second difference all right so the wear clause let me go up all right, so the wear clause, wear clause does not filter based on an aggregated function, okay, or column. All right, so if you apply this, let's see what is going to happen let's assume that let me just copy this and let's do this here so if i apply where item category no this time around i'll say where sum of price let me just delete this so if i apply where sum of price right is probably greater than twenty thousand. I'll have an error because aggregate functions are not allowed in where clause okay so even though i remove this group by and i run this it's still going to give me an issue if i remove this where so it's not as if the aggregate function does not work without group by if i remove this where it should so if i remove okay item category some price from others okay yes so it's not as if the the aggregation is is kind of wrong but we can't use that when we are talking about when we are not bringing it in group by okay so the group by is the this aggregation is used to explain um is used to explain what would i call it is used to explain um summaries of a particular table right so when we are not applying group by we need to be careful with the use with the usage of our um of our of our aggregate functions all right now the only way this aggregate function can work without even the group by is if i'm not even probably attaching a column to it so it gives me it gives me the sum of all those things because remember what we talk about aggregates it's it's it contains all the elements or it's it accepts multiple inputs and gives you one output so the reason why this can be segmented is in group by is because what group by does is places this thing in group and it now makes it look like the multiple items it's collecting is from each group then it produces one value for each group all right so you would see that in the use of aggregate function if you want your aggregate function to be used like in a list to appear in a list not just one overall value that is when you have to do that with a group by so that the group by is going to create distinct groups and then aggregate function will be applied to each of the group items okay so we have seen now that in the usage of the where 
clause, you need to know when and how to use it. All right. Now, in terms of optimization, you have to check first if what I want to query can happen without can happen without um, the having, then please go ahead because by optimization, it is best to use your where clause. OK, having should come up when that is the only way that you can filter. And the only way that you can use that that that's those kind of situations could arise is when the condition you are about to filter or when the column you want to filter first is an aggregated column. OK, when the column you want to filter is an aggregated column or the results of your group by, which is always an aggregated column. All right. But if the column you want to filter is not an aggregated column, then it's best to use your where clause. All right. So understanding this and probably practicing it on your own will make you be very confident in the, in answering these questions of where versus having they're very simple concepts but they could be deceiving if you are not properly um if if you don't understand it properly all right so you should understand what we said here that first of all the difference the similarity is that they are both used to filter a table based on certain conditions, right? And the difference is here is that where clause is used before a group by clause, all right? While having is used after the group by clause, all right? And the second thing here is where clause does not filter based on aggregated function or column, all right? It is having that does that, okay? So with this, I believe that you understand this and hope this session was interesting enough for you to stay to the end. All right. Thank you very much. We'll discuss more in subsequent sessions. Bye.